Hello and welcome to Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia, Game Show Edition. This is episode 30. Oh man. The game show title, Twisted Shame. Oh. Trivia Edition. With Brad being the MC today. This is Brad here. What's up? Brandon. It's Matt. This is Nick. So before we get to the festivities, I wanted to uh, see what everyone's doing for Thanksgiving tomorrow. I'm just hosting, uh, well, I'm not hosting, but we're going over to the sharing place. Mom's coming over. Matt, Brandon's coming over. We're going to spend time with, with Karen's family. Is Uncle Karan going to be there? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, Everybody who counts is will be there. <laughs> except Nick, he can't make it. He will count too. <laughs> what are you doing, Nick? Uh, tomorrow morning, uh, a lot of the male members of my family are meeting to play football. And probably at Relanda High School. How come we weren't invited? I'm sorry. You're, you're, you're friends, not family. You're like family, but not quite there yet. We'll get Jordan to marry Angelina, then we'll be family. There you go. That's that's how Matt's trying to do it. <laughs> He's trying to marry into the family. Um. So after football, chill, and then eat. That's pretty much it. Nothing spectacular. Just hanging out with the family. Can anyone guess what time it is? Clobbering time. time? Cool picks time? Cool picks, cool picks! Oh, nice. So you're going to rain on my game show, you're going to interrupt with some cool picks. <laughs> well, you have to. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the game start tomorrow. Oh, um, before I get into cool picks, uh, Jamila found this uh, coffee mug I keep in my closet. And uh, she was she brought it down from the top because it was like way up. She's like, what's this for? I said, oh, that's my nut cup. And then she gave me this like disgusting look. And I'm like that's what I used to mix my raisins and uh, mix nuts when I want a snack. And she was like, "Oh, okay." You could, eat, you could eat nuts if you're a vegetarian. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know. You eat eggs. So, so do you know what cool picks are? No. I give my rationale on who I think is going to win. Uh, fo- the football team picks, like the football fighting. Oh, okay. And um, tomorrow's game is the Green Bay Packers and the Detroit Lions. I was looking at the team's name, like the Packers, <laughs> and for some reason I just started to rhyme, like stackers, trackers, backers, <laughs> knackers, <laughs> eackers, jackers, slackers, lions, buying, stallion, flying. <laughs> What a predator that would be, a flying lion. <laughs> Can you imagine something as big as a lion that has wings? It'd like be a, a griffin? Yeah, it'd be like a modern day chimera, but only if it had a snake tail. <laughs> Wouldn't it be amazing to hunt these ven- venomous chimeras? It would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you would get paid in gold to slay them. Uh, Matt would have to distract them, though, but not the not the front part, the lion part, the snake part. Because these chimeras would spit hordes of spiders from their mouth. Can you imagine that? These spiders would shoot webbing upon being injected from the chimera's mouth. Fire web. (laughs) Streams of stingy fire coming from the spider's spindles and mouth. I would eventually tame one, though. Once I learned how to tame one, I could tame many. We would be known as the Riders, our own version of the Four Horsemen. We would right wrongs, slay other mythical beasts, Take our women on rides in the sky. We'd be Marky Mark. Invincible. <laughs> so I'm feeling the Lions on this one. Uh, Denver Broncos and Chiefs. <laughs> Cowboys and Oh, man. It's like they're trying to drive me crazy here. I'm getting sick and tired of repeating myself. <laughs> Going for the Broncos. And why is that? Because Cowboys and Indians. Who, who do you think is going to win? Cowboys. Yeah. <laughs> Guns against bows and arrows. <laughs> Works in Avatar. Just saying. <laughs> this isn't Ethiopia. Wait, what's it called? Ethiopia. <laughs> what's the planet called? <laughs> the Avatar. Planet? Yeah. Navi? I don't know. I know they're called the Navi. It's like some. Planet. This is a Navi planet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, St. Louis Rams and the Forty Nineers. Fact. Dow Jones and Jim Jack will both be in attendance for this game. Fact. There's no such person named Dow Jones or Jim Jack. (laughs) Fact. If Dow Jones nor Jim Jack do not exist, how can they be in attendance? The answer? Typical. 49ers. (laughs) Raiders and the Cowboys. 
Pirates and Cowboys. Let's break this down, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Famous Pirates. Luffy from One Piece. Uh, that's a manga and anime. Uh, he gets the uh, power to stretch his body like Mr. Fantastic. He acquires this power from eating the gum gum devil fruit. A Smee from uh, the first captain from the, or the first mate from the Jolly <laughs> Roger. Lego Jack Sparrow from Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. Famous Cowboys. Cast of Deadwood. Enough said. Cowboys. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars against the Cleveland Browns. <laughs> so we found out. <laughs> We found out last week that Florida has two teams, the Jaguars and the Dolphins. <laughs> Why does America's Wang need two teams? I say we co combine both teams and call them something un unorthodox to do. And there are not enough teams named after structures. You have teams named after animals, Indians, people, and vehicles. <laughs> but structures? No. <laughs> but what about a living structure? Can anyone think of a living structure? No. A golem. <laughs> Do you know the tale of the golem? I just from Lord of the Rings. It's probably, probably referring to something different. Uh, it's actually a Jewish uh, stone structure that gets brought to life to protect them from the evil empire that's invading them. <laughs> An Orthodox Jew and the Golem is Jewish. <laughs> Going with the Golems, the Jacksonville Golems. <laughs> Tennessee Titans and the Indianapolis Colts. When I think of the state Tennessee, for some reason I get the vision of like an orange earthy field. Uh, when I close my mind and think of Indianapolis, I see a stretch of tall buildings with the Chicago River being the skyscraper's moat. There's usually a thin silver lining arching from one end of the vision to the other. That being said, I'm going with the Colts. <laughs> <laughs> Chicago Bears and the Minnesota Vikings. Come on. Vikings. Dolphins and the Jets. Thanksgiving has me thinking. What do people in Miami eat for Thanksgiving? Turkey? No. Ham? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> A sexy place like Miami would never eat giblet cornbread stuffing or creamy mashed potatoes. They dig down into their Cuban roots and make something spicy like roasted corn on the cob with chili powder, mayonnaise, and Parmesan cheese. Uh, they make something like a braised beef, tenderloin ground up and wrapped inside of a flour shell with cheese and beans and sensational rice inside. They would top this torpedo-like object with sour cream, cheese, and some Baja sauce. <laughs> what, do <you> th <laughs> what do you think people from New York eat for Thanksgiving? Give that turkey. <laughs> They're always on the move, doing business or mugging people. <laughs> they need their Thanksgiving moving just as fast as their shifty beady eyes. <laughs> A sprinkle of rosemary on a slice of pizza is all that they need to meet their needs. <laughs> that being said, I'm going with the dolphins. <laughs> Cardinals and the Eagles. Going to use classic logic here. No brainer. If these two birds met in the air, the eagle would kill the cardinal. <laughs> Tampa Bay Buccaneers. There are no songs about Tampa Bay or Carolina. The closest thing is Sweet Caroline by Neil Diamond. Not close enough, though. Going for the Bucks. <laughs> Patriots and the Texans. So check this out. I received an email from someone with the email account name tb 4 life at hotmail.com. <laughs> There's only five words in the email that said, we are going to win. I was like, who's going to win? <laughs> then I put it all together. tb for life What do you think that stands for? Tom Brady for life. <laughs> I could see your logic there. <laughs> it's actually tuna bait for life. Oh, Nikki of all uh, people should know this. <laughs> What's the nickname for the Texans quarterback? <laughs> well, they're actually in a bit of a quarterback battle right now, so I'm gonna. I don't. I don't. I don't have an answer. Tuna bait. Oh, 
Duh. <laughs> so TB Tuna Bait, he's guaranteeing a victory here. Atlanta Falcons. I'm not familiar with Tuna Bait. Huh? I'm not familiar with Tuna Bait. Oh. I just made that up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta Falcons and the Buffalo Bills. Falcons. Uh, Cincinnati. <laughs> <laughs> Cincinnati Bengals and the Chargers. Now here's an etch interesting catch up. I mean matchup. In one hand, we have the Bengal Tigers. In another hand, we have a surge of thunder and lightning. What happens if we put the two together? Lightning Tigers. Thundercats. Thunder. Thunder. The thunder. Thundercats. Ho. <laughs> Idaho. No. Utah. Bengals. <laughs> Giants and the Redskins. I laughed when I saw these two were going to face off. Nick KG, your grandma. What the hell was that? Go Redskins, I guess. <laughs> uh, Ravens and the Steelers. I actually cheated and did some research on this one. Fact. Back in the 30s, the Steelers were not called the Steelers at all. Do you know what they were called? Uh, no. The yeah. Pirates mm, to okay. match their baseball, uh, basketball, I mean, brethren. Uh, <laughs> these Steelers did not have much of a following back then, surprising. In order to gain momentum as a football team, the owners offered a contest to the fans to name the team. The winner? Some douche named Joe Santoni. Probably a great great uncle to Jeremiah Brundage. <laughs> he came up with the name The Steelers. They gave him season tickets for life, which he probably sold to some schmuck at the steel mill he worked at. The owners actually made their logo to represent the steel mill industry. This is where they could have won me over. Let's see if they did. Spoiler alert. They didn't. <laughs> Originally, each color stood for a different way in which steel is helpful. The yellow diamond signified how steel lightened your work. The orange diamond represented how steel brightened your leisure. And the blue diamond stands for steel widening your world. That's so retarded. I would have done this. Change a yellow diamond to a color that wasn't made for cowards and assholes. <laughs> Something like silver. I would have changed a silver diamond to represent the steel sword in which to conquer your opponents. I would change the orange diamond to red and have it signify the blood spilled by the sword and the fact that you were sent to your you sent your opponent to hellfire. <laughs> I would have then changed the blue diamond to white to signify the ecstasy of the glorious victory over the battlefield. Suck it, Steeler fanboys, Ravens all the way. <laughs> Saints and Seahawks, Monday night game. I laughed when I saw these two were going to face off. Nick KG, your grandma. That works better. Saints. <laughs> Where is Tampa Bay located? Like on the East Coast, like around New Hampshire or <laughs> Vermont? No. Where is it? You don't know where Tampa Bay is located. <laughs> Is it Florida? Yeah. That's heck of stupid. So have three <laughs> teams. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna play into my first next week. I guarantee that. And just because you asked, Pandora. That's right. That's the yeah. name of the uh, planet. It's actually the name of the moon orbiting the planet. So I'm gonna pass it over to Brad. Get this game show on the road. All right. So the rules are simple. Matt, I haven't played this format yet. Uh, when it, you'll take turns asking quite or picking questions, I'll read it. You may be the first to buzz in by saying your name, Brandon or Matt, or Chaos and Crisis, whichever you may want. If you get the question right, you get the point. If not, you lose the point. Now, is it like if I get a number two wrong, I lose two points? Yes. And do you have a thing to keep score with? I will. Okay. Let's say, Matt, you ask for Pokemon 2. I'll read it. If you buzz in and get it wrong, Brandon has a chance of buzzing in and getting it right. But if he gets it wrong, he will lose the points as well. So you don't have to buzz in to, to, if your opponent gets it wrong. Okay, so we will go ahead and roll the dice to see who gets to pick first. You each roll a dice. I'm calling six. 
Yeah, close enough. Oh, a six, six came six. out. So, the categories today are Brad knows. That is what you, what Brad thinks. Uh huh. But I don't think anything. I know everything. Okay. So I'll ask a question. You have to guess what I <laughs> say the answer is. Okay. Pokemon. Are all the answers right? Yeah, they're okay. my opinions. Okay. Oh, okay. Great yeah. opinions. Got it. Okay. You got it, dude. Uh huh. Which is questions <laughs> from Full House. <laughs> Nightmares. Question on scary movies. And a hidden category that you guys will unlock after you answer all the other questions. What's in the box is the last category. You guys will take turns picking boxes. You'll have to do what the box says. Okay, so uh, can you describe the point scale on those? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, but they eventually all have to be picked? They all have to be picked. If you guys do the tasks that are on there, you'll you'll get to roll the dice to get that many points. There's miracles, where you roll both dice, and you multiply those two numbers to get that many points. Wow. Now, is there a final question? No. Ooh, no final question. All right. So Matt won the roll. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Is it not, I remember hearing something about an oath that needed to be taken. That's right. <laughs> so... You guys have to repeat after me. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I, I promise to uphold the law. Promise, promise to, to uphold, uphold the, the law. And to do anything that Brad asked me to do today. <laughs> and to do anything that Brad, Brad asked me to do today. My treasure hunting license is on the line. My treasure hunting <laughs> license is on the line. If I do not what I am told, I will be shamed. If I do <laughs> not do what I'm told, I will be shamed. And I will not be allowed to be on a podcast again. And I will not be allowed to be on a podcast again. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Matt, pick a question. Uh, um, let's go with uh, Nightmares for one. In seat of Chucky, what is Chucky's child's name? Crisis. Andy? Wrong. And I can't get in the negative, right? Not with these questions. <laughs> Tight. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. The correct answer is Glenn or Glenda. Oh, okay. Because he split personality. Pick again, Matt. Uh, you got a dude for one. Name two of the Tanner's pets. Their actual names. I don't even know one. Crisis, Comet and Mr. Bear. The correct answer is Comet, Martin Tanner, and I would have accepted Kimmy Gibbler. <laughs> you didn't give Matt a chance to steal. I didn't. I was, I was thinking Mr. Bear, too, actually. Pick again, man. All right, Pokemon one. <laughs> Transla decode this sentence. Suck my TM28. Crisis. Dig. That, that's, pretty, that's not very fair for Matt. Because <laughs> we were just talking he about that. Pokemon. Oh. Did you know what TM28 was? Hell no. <laughs> and that's like, the TMs. Are you kidding me? And that's at one point. Oh, uh, to me. Uh, let's try uh, Brad Knows for one. This is the best soap opera character of all time. Ooh. Oh, um, time's up. Uh, Todd Manning. Yeah, Todd Manning. I was, I, was, I was trying to think of his name. That rapist. Pick again. Uh, <sighs> Nightmares for two. So far, the score is Brandon one, Matt zero. Close game. <laughs> Candyman or Freddy Krueger? Crisis. Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Plus five points, but minus three points for being racist. So two points. <laughs> what question was that? That should have been under Brad Nose. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Pick again. Uh, let's do Nightmares for three. What's in the box? Crisis ahead. Three points. What? Seven. 
You never seen Seven? No. Oh man, <laughs> Brandon. Uh, Nightmares for Four. Let's see where this is going. <laughs> What is the name of Patrick LeCoy's and Josh Adams' production company? <coughs> Crisis, Ghostface, minus four points, Dustface uh, Production. Two points, Brandon. Let's finish out Nightmares. <laughs> Closing the gap. <laughs> <laughs> What is the scariest movie of all time? Convince me. You both could t- start speaking. Uh, I say, of course, it's going to be a Nightmare on Elm Street. Why? Do I have to give an explanation if Matt doesn't jump in? Yes. <laughs> uh, because he could kill you in your dreams. And uh, his arms stretch out. Matt, your rebuttal? I really don't have a scariest movie. Okay, Brandon gets the five points. Seven to zero. Still a close game. (laughs) Brandon? Brad knows for two. Now, if you bring in Matt, you don't lose any points if you get the question Mm -hmm. wrong. Best quarterback of all time. Crisis, Troy Aikman. <laughs> uh, Pokemon 2. Why do gyms get progressively harder on Pokemon video games? Crisis, because you earn more badges. That's right. Yeah. You, they choose their Pokemon based on how many badges you have. So Brock actually has high level Pokemon. If you have seven badges, he'll use his high level Pokemon. Pokemon 3. Decode this. Jack TM87. Crisis Swagger? Yes. Oh, man. Next category. Brad knows three. This is the best ice cream flavor of all time. What would Brad think? Or what would Brad, what Brad knows? Chaos Rocky Road? No, close. Uh... Crisis, strawberry, the Shrek cancer, cherry Garcia. <laughs> that's bull. That's not a flavor. That's a marketing gimmick. Pick category. Uh, Brad knows four. Best pizza chain. Crisis, Mountain Mike's. Looks Incorrect. Like, oh, I got it all right. You want to take a stab at it? You have nothing to lose. Uh, round table for their Maui Zowie. <laughs> Holy crap! I'm on the board. <laughs> Woo! Brandon. Oh uh, no, it's no, not. You pick. Uh, you got a dude for two. What show did Stephanie Tanner host in real life after Full House was over? And I'm talking about Judy Sweeney, whatever her name was. Crisis. Pants off. Dance off. That's right. <laughs> really. I thought it was Dance 360. It was either that or Pants Off, Dance Off. Uh, you same category three. Bob Saget appeared in what prank reality show? Chaos, Candy Camera. Nope. No guess? What were they on? Jackass? Aristocrats? Reality TV show? No guess. Jamie Kennedy experiment. Oh. Uh, uh, same category four. Jesse and the Rippers or Metallica? Crisis. It's got to be Jesse and the Rippers. No. Oh! Wait, so do I get a guess on that too? Yeah. Metallica. Oh, that was a four point <laughs> swing. <laughs> what? So you took Brad knows and like extended it to like three other different categories. That's right. <laughs> uh, Pokemon Four. Decode this. TM Forty One. The All Powerful. Time's up. Torment. Oh, which really? <laughs> uh, 
Right, I know survive. <clears throat> this will be an easy one. Best superhero. <gasps> Chaos Venom. Close. Mm -hmm. Crisis. Batman. Correct. How's that close? <laughs> They're both wearing black. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon 5. What is the only water move that can cause burn? Crisis. Scald. That's right. Uh, you got it, dude. Final. What is the name of Comet's mom? <gasps> Don't act like you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> you guys probably know the full outfits. Actually, do watch every episode. Crisis, Cupid. <laughs> <sighs> Three times. The correct answer is Minnie. Oh, jeez. Have you taken the oath? Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> One. In my head, it was more climactic than that. Um. <laughs> Really for one. Yeah. Both of you get on your hands and knees. Now <laughs> I thought this was gonna be a nice... <laughs> What is this? Yoga. How do we get points for this? It's yoga. You both have to act like a dog and say I love you, Brad, in a dog voice. The best one wins. Seductively, like rabbit singer crew. No. The one who I deem the winner wins. Wait, and, it's, and is this for one roll or two roll? It's for both dice. Okay. Go! <laughs> to them like Borat for 30 seconds. <laughs> Is this a miracle one? No. <clears throat> it's torture. <laughs> and you can't call mom because that will come up later. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Don't call me. <laughs> yeah, you have to call someone who is not in the room. Uh, who are you calling? Tyler. You've seen Borat, right? You have to say chocolate face at some point. <laughs> Come on now. One time he doesn't answer. Hello, what's up, dude? Hello, how's it going, chocolate face? Huh? You did not talk shit about 
Now that's very nice. You know my sister, number two whore, almost Pakistan. Hey, hey, you be nice. I call your sister. I keep up with the thing. You don't call her again after that. <laughs> 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 so how's it going? It's got to be 30 seconds. Alright, I'll call you back. <laughs> Very nice. You have a sister you don't know, we don't know about? <laughs> Roll the dice. Nine. Nine. Number four. It's puke time. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> You guys need to shave your pubes. Whoever has the most in the plate wins. What? <laughs> 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 not fair. Glad you shaved. <laughs> It's all gone, dude. I spent like two hours shaving. See, I got. Dang! Underarm. Oh, yeah. I don't have any hair. All you need is a snip it and you win. You have to do a good amount. <laughs> yes. I want the plate. I'll hold your shirt up. Now I know why you don't didn't want nausea here. <laughs> I thought you were gonna try to have me shave my hair. I was like, oh man, that's good. <laughs> we'll leave that for later. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Matt, roll the dice. That's cleaning up on you. <laughs> nine. nine, nine again. <coughs> Number five. Roll a dice. It's a two. Four. No, I'll roll again. Five. Come on. Jeez. <laughs> tell her you think you have. Tell her you think you have herpes. <laughs> and ask her what what you need to do about it. <laughs> You don't know what to do. You're vulnerable. <laughs> and if mom doesn't answer, we'll find someone else for you to call. You had to come up with something. <laughs> oh, Brandon's calling. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Hi, Nothing. Hey, um, you remember when we were little, um, your friend came over with the cold tours and we're kissing me and Brad and we kind of got like that, the herpes on our lips? Which one was it? I don't know. You said that when, when we were little, um, some lady came over with, uh, like, mouth herpes or, like, cold sores and kissed us and transferred over to them. Really? Yeah, because I, I just got a cold sore, like, um, it broke out probably, like, one on the bottom of my lip, like, two weeks ago, and I itched it. And I think when yeah. I when I itched it, like, I itched down there, and I got one, like, in my pubic area. Oh, so I didn't know like what what to do about it. Oh, you call the doctor. Okay. Uh they go you know, you know, Brad, Brad had, uh, the other day too. So it is a twin thing. I know, but he got a the other day, like last week. On his lips? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I got I and I I, like, did the Abreva and stuff, and, like, you know how you can feel it coming? And I thought I was safe because yeah. I put the Abreva on it, and I think I must have itched down there and got, turned Herpes Simplex 1 or Herpes Simplex 2. Yeah, so, 
maybe it's nothing. I, 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 it's just, I'm just guessing. Hopefully I'm just being paranoid, but, um, I'll, I'll, I'll see what the doctor says. Okay. All right. Love you. Bye. 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 Funny and sad. <laughs> six. Okay. You've unlocked your final category. What's in the box? Yeah. There's one item that only one of you get to do something. The rest of them, you both have to complete the task. If you do, you get to roll the dice. So roll the dice. Whoever wins gets to pick first. Five. Which box would you like? There's a yellow box. I'm taking the Tiki Punch. <laughs> Nostalgic right there. Jordan <laughs> said that's his. Okay, Jordan's box. Matt, you have to eat a piece of bread with ketchup and mustard on it. Really? Oh, man. <laughs> Brandon, you have to eat a piece of bologna. <laughs> Got it all right in your bag, didn't you? <laughs> this is this doesn't this isn't the oath, right? Huh? Like this isn't the oath part. You don't have to do it if you don't want. This one I'll let you pass on because you're a vegetarian. Yeah. So you just won't get a roll for points. I'm passing on this one. Thank you. Thank you for <laughs> clapping. That's vegetarian. Pass. Yep. Hold on. Oh, no, no. He that he has to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how is he talking here? Oh. Huh? How, how, how? <laughs> Box number three. You want to explain why we're having Matt do this, Brandon? Yes. Uh, when we were little, Matt would throw a temper tantrum if we put ketchup and mustard on the same hot dog. So this is like torture for him. <laughs> And he just has to take that bite, right? Yes. Oh, okay. That's a big bite. It's like over half of it. <laughs> he takes a bite from the other side. <laughs> <laughs> take a bite out of the middle and it'll be fine. Do it! Oh, that was a big bite. Yeah! Roll those dice. <laughs> oh, 10. What's the score? 44, Brandon, 31. Oh. Ooh, that's a bad one. Matt, pick a box. Let's go with the x lax <laughs> <laughs> Do me a favor. Can you say, yes. what's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> Is this Sam's? <laughs> I swear to God, if it's real x lax <laughs> He, he, he already did this. No, he didn't. Matt did. Oh. You put ketchup and mustard. Well, we could... Okay, so Matt, you completed your task. You had to eat ketchup and mustard. I guess that was a duplicate. <laughs> Brandon, you have to kiss Nick's bare butt for one minute straight. <laughs> <laughs> a whole minute? Do I drop in some trial? In the name of a good podcast, I suppose I can do this. <laughs> and you don't have to be like, mm, no.
<laughs> uh, the yellow one. Uh. <laughs> Miracle. Ooh. Roll those dice. Yeah, that's it? Yeah. <laughs> Tight. Seven. So, 14. 14. Yeah. Matt, pick a box. <clears throat> Let's go with the creeper. Head. Uh, who's this guy? Roll a die twice. Gain that many points times that many. Another miracle. Woo! Alright, so seven. Fourteen. <clears throat> Fourteen. Brandon, pick a box. Uh, what's the left? A pink one, a Tazo T one, and a purple box with a skull and crossbone on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going with the T. Oh man! <laughs> I thought a skull and crossbow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that has to eat a piece of paper. <laughs> Brandon, you have to jog around naked in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the shame part comes in. <laughs> you, you can cup your genitals with your hands. You got nothing else. <laughs> I don't think we can put it on YouTube if we do that. I'll just get the upper part. Yeah, I'll just get the upper part. <laughs> <laughs> so just jog around once, or just like for five seconds or something. <laughs> We're gonna see that hairless body. You're gonna have to go all the way, dude. I'm going all the way. You don't have to take your socks off. <laughs> 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 we can put it on YouTube when we do 18 plus, right? Different about me? 
I think I, I lost it. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 What is that? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Horseradish? Mm, Grated yeah. horseradish pure. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna burn. Do you have some? I, I, I could fill it in my stomach already. <laughs> to throw up in? Yeah. Oh. Okay, let's get in the bucket. Let's get in the bucket. Let's get in the bucket. Let's get in the Oh, uh, and the bread with the mustard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The vegetarian has a weak stomach. I wish this was in like a spoon and I would have to lick this whole paper with the ink and everything. <laughs> it's like eating the paper. It's not, um... The, the time you're it, wasting... It's meat-free paper. <laughs> the, the time, the time you're wasting time! The time you're wasting, the ink is sinking in, so... Oh, do you smell it? Yeah, it's Sit down, Logan. Gross. Beautiful. Yeah, that's going in my mouth. <laughs> you guys got some bad like A thousand years of poop. Yeah. Will you wash it out after? Wash what out? The garbage can. You can. <laughs> <laughs> Will well, I wash it out? You won't be here for the podcast. You have to wash out your poop. Yeah. Do it. Uh, I thought it's tea. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. Wow. It's funny how it's like picked out. I get the spider and he gets the pick. I get a pickle plush. That was the first place prize. I'm, gr- I'm glad you won first place. <laughs> you get a collection of So, those. did you guys have fun? No. Yep. Yeah. 
Make you get fun? Oh, yeah, definitely. Got my ass I kid. did. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, anything else, guys? What's in the box? <clears throat> no, no more box. <laughs> That's going to do it for episode 30 of Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia, Twisted Shame, Trivia Edition. This is Brad, Matt, Brandon, Nick. Happy hunting, guys. <laughs>